Do you take some time at the beginning of the week to plan out exactly what you want to achieve in the week? If not, this week's episode of Working with Evernote is just for you. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to give you my weekly planning template. Now the reason I'm doing this is because recently I've been looking around at other people's weekly templates, planning templates, and I have discovered that there is an incredible amount of complexity out there and what I do notice is there's a lot of time being spent on planning out the week. Now, of course, planning is a very important part of being productive, but if you're spending too much time planning, that means you're spending a lot less time actually doing. Now, I have a weekly template that I've been using for the last two or three months, and I've one of the reasons why I haven't shared it with you before is simply because I wanted to test it out and refine it and get it down to the most simplest possible planning sheet possible that covers everything that I want to get done in a week and keep me focused on what's truly important. And this week I'm going to show you exactly how to set that template up. But not only that, for those of you who don't want to spend time setting up that template, I'm going to share the link so you can get your own copy of this template. But also I'm going to show you exactly how I use it and the way I'm going to plan next week live in this video. Okay, before I get into this video though, I would just like to say if you do learn a lot from this and you get a lot of value from it, then I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would consider it to be a huge thank you if you would subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's take you straight into Evernote now and I will show you how I plan my week. Okay, so I've created a very simple template for this particular weekly planning sheet. Now, as I said in the introduction, the biggest problem I see with most people's weekly planning sheet is that it is overly complicated and has way too many items in there. And although you might be very excited when you first start doing it, what usually happens is because it takes so long to do and involves an awful lot of thinking, you start to resist doing it and eventually you stop doing it. This system is very quick and very simple, but it does get you focused in on what's truly important to you every single week. So let me just run through this uh, template with you. And you get an idea of what I'm going to do. And I'll show you one that I've set up for the, uh, for next week uh, so that you get a really good idea how it fit takes what it takes to fill it in. So essentially, we start off right at the top here with these four boxes. Now, these four boxes represent the four projects that you want to work on. Now, for me personally, I like to create two projects from my personal life and two projects from my work life. But you can do this however way you want to do it. If you don't like to separate things like that and you just want four projects, then just use four projects. In some weeks it might be four work projects. In other weeks, like when you're on vacation, it might actually be four personal projects. But this is really entirely up to you. But essentially, what four projects do you want to put all your energy into this week? And I really mean that. I mean, put all your energy into these projects each week because that's the only way that you're going to get the momentum to get these projects completed. So that's where we go in there. Now, one of the things I like to do, and again, this is purely optional for you, but uh, I think it's always a very good idea is to have a weekly focus. What do you really want to focus on during that week? Because one of the things that I've learned is wherever your focus is, your energy goes and things start to happen. It's when we lose our focus on certain things, whether it's a project, our personal life or whatever it is, that's when things start falling apart. So where do you want to put your focus next week? Now, for me, I just have two areas that I want to focus on. And again, I do like to keep that separate work, one for work and one for my personal life. And finally, 
what 10 tasks do I really want to complete next week? Now, when you break that down, that just essentially means less than two tasks a day if you take seven days a week. But these are the, like the, the, the tasks that I really want to complete that week. And these tasks will really help me to move any of my pro uh, projects further forward. So that's the basic outline. Of course, I've got a checkbox for whenever I've done the tasks, I can actually just check them off to say that I've done the task. And you can do that again, whichever way you want to do it. So that's the, the actual template and I will make this available. Again, I'll give you the, the caveat on that is it will be available certainly until June or July 2019. After that, I cannot guarantee, but there will be a link for you to get this template in the show notes below. So do check that out. So how is this going to look when we actually complete it? So here's what I've completed for next week. Essentially what I've done is I've got four person, uh, four, two personal projects and four work projects. So I've got my complete the Conmary project of our house. I've been doing that since January. All I need to do now is the kitchen and the bathroom. The bathroom shouldn't take too long. The kitchen I'm resisting because I know that that's a big job and I'm probably going to need at least half a day to do it. But I really want to get it complete now. My second personal project is to get my Crockett and Jones Chelsea boots sent back to the factory for resoling. This is something been on my list for a long time and I really just want to get that out of the way and just get them sent off because once they're sent off, all I have to do is wait for them to come back. Uh, in terms of work projects, I want to complete uh, the class program setup for one of my new clients and I need to sort out the best day for the classes and try to keep them all in one afternoon. And this is just going to keep me very focused on getting that completed by the end of next week because next week is the last week of March and I really want to get that done ready for the beginning of April. And also to, to complete the slide deck for the Life and Time Mastery Workshop that I will be doing in Scunthorpe in the United Kingdom next month. That's April 2019. So if you are available on the 20th of April and fancy a trip to Scunthorpe in the United Kingdom, then I will be there together with Kevin Blackburn and we're doing a whole one day workshop completely free of charge all you do is have to register i will put a link to that actually in the show notes as well all i need to do for that is to come the outline has been completed i just need to put the structure in place so that's the projects that i'm going to be working on next week i just realized that you guys are going to know exactly what i'm working on next week that's fantastic okay in terms of the personal focus i'm going to be focused personally on my house organization and tidying up that's all to do with the conmarie um project that I'm working on and in terms of my work I'm currently running the March Madness sale on all my online courses and coaching uh, programs so if you're interested do check that out that also will be linked in the show notes you can check there are some very very good savings there so that's the the two things that I want to focus on next week and then I have my 10 must complete tasks so the Chelsea boots are going there I know that's part of a project but they just need to be sent and they must be done also the the new client class dates and times needs to be completed I need to complete the life and time mastery workshop slides the Conmarie and I've highlighted Conmarie there just to keep me focused in on what that so clean up the bathroom and clean up the kitchen I have a life hack article that I need to get written and submitted next week, so it must be done. I want to be promoting my March Madness sale every day next week and continue developing the Drafts YouTube video series. I promise you it is coming soon for those of you guys waiting. It's just trying to get it in a nice structure for you, but I will develop that next week. So hopefully the first episode will go out next week. You can hold me accountable. And finish the life part of my Time and Life Mastery course refresh plan, which will be coming this summer. And I'm just going through that and planning that out now. And finally, the Time and Life Mastery book. I really want to get 2,000 words written of that book as I do every single week. So there you go. That's how I have set up. Now, to complete this 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 planning sheet it took me just 15 minutes now I did this come after I did my weekly review and that's the key to this is to think about how you're going to put this together when will you do this focus project now I like to get my weekly review done first and then I go into this sheet and start planning things out now this is relatively new for me I haven't generally used a planning sheet but I have been looking around and I saw it's way too complicated for most for me and I thought I'll create my own and this is the one that I've come and I've been using it for a few weeks now and it really does work. It does keep you focused in on the things that are truly important for you. So of course I know you could create this in pretty much any note taking application. It's just that Evernote is just a wonderful tool to create something like this. 
And like I say, I will share this weekly planning template with you. You can get that from the link below, which will be in the show notes, and you can just adapt it, modify it however way you want to do it. Okay, hopefully you found this week's episode useful. If you did find anything of interest and something that may really help you, then please show your appreciation by hitting that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, oh, that would be a huge thank you if you could just subscribe to this channel. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course, and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.